Hi guys, Kevin B here with another uh, training tip for martial arts kicking. Today we're going to work on a roundhouse. Now this is my good friend Cole, and he really loves to kick. He's got some great skills, he's been working a long time, and uh, we're going to share some little tips with you here today. So, uh, Mr. Cole, can you please show us just a good basic round kick? So he's going to keep his hands up tight, he's going to extend the foot, and he's going to place it right back where it was. Okay, very good. Now, once the student has that, we're going to work on what's called pump kicking, which is where you throw multiple kicks. Now, can I have two? Ooh, that was good. Can I have three? Good. Can I have four? I wonder if I could get five. Very good. So he can do five in a row really well. Now, I know pump kicks have gotten a bit of a bad name from, from point fighting and whatnot, saying, oh, you're not going to use that in martial art. Yeah, that's true. If you have a decent kick, that head's not going to be there for you to kick it five times in a row. However, the skill of being able to do what Cole can do builds the muscles and the flexibility and the twitching ability of those muscles to kick very fast, very hard, and very accurately when you want to. Because sometimes you have a student like Cole who, you know, you don't have to tell him, go ahead, Cole. Uh, you don't really have to tell him five, six, seven. But Cole's one of those guys who will just sit there and kick and kick and kick and kick and kick until his legs fall off. Because this guy one day did 150 of these before I lost him. And he would have just kept going. So this young man can put his foot on you whenever and however he so decides. And this is just basic ground kick. Once we get into combinations, you'll really see what he can do. High five, dude. Nice. So again, this is my friend Cole. Thanks for helping us out today, buddy. You're Great job. See you next time. Bye.